Chartwell School. I'm Danielle Patterson, the Director of Outreach and Family Engagement. We are so excited to be able to show you around our campus today and tell you about all of the different ways that we individualize programs for our students. We've been open for a number of weeks and when looking around our campus, we decided we're gonna leave it as is so you can see exactly how we have made our campus a place for our students to learn under the current conditions. Here at Chartwell, we have three divisions, lower, middle, and high school. We have approximately 120 students on campus, and those are pretty evenly divided up between the three divisions. We have a 65-acre campus. There are trailheads all the way around. That allows us to provide that multi-sensory approach to instruction across all subjects, as well as for the students to hike and mountain bike and have experiential learning and project-based learning within their curriculum. I'd now like for you to hear from members of our leadership team so you can learn more about each of the divisions. So one of the things that makes Chartwell different is that we also, in many cases, look for what each student's strength is. And it's that strength that we try to focus their education around. Because what makes us successful in life is to develop our strengths, to develop our passions, and to move forward with those things. So lots of schools run a deficit model. We're gonna fix some things about this child. But here at Chartwell, we wanna take those things that they're good at and that they're passionate about and develop those skills as well. STEAM is science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So it is a K through 12 program that incorporates all those disciplines. Uh, we include arts. Uh, a lot of schools have STEM programs. We make sure art is included too because design, ease of use, all these sorts of things that figure into the innovation, the um, inventions, and the entrepreneurship that students create uh, is incorporated too, and that's important to us. One of the most important social emotional academic development ideas that we're trying to express to the students here at Chartwell is that as human beings, we experience a wide range of emotions. That's what it means to be human. We're gonna feel sadness, we're gonna feel happiness, we're gonna feel sorrow, we're gonna feel enraged, and it will happen, and we're allowed to have those feelings, and we want students to know that they have permission to feel that way. However, we also wanna make sure that they have the skills and the strategies and the tools and the correct mindset to be able to say, what do I do with these feelings? So I behave in a way where I don't impact my relationship with other people or myself so I can still access learning and be successful. At Chartwell, what project-based learning means is that we select themes that shape the curriculum over the course of the year. So each year we have four themes over the four quarters and teachers take that theme and run with it in the different fields. So a theme might cross into literature and it might cross into science and it might cross into humanities and that helps the students because they are able to look at the topic from multiple perspectives. Our methodology is multi-sensory. We use all of the visual, auditory, kinesthetic, and tactile methods of teaching to engage students and to increase brain connectivity. Our approach to teaching at Chartwell is in line with Orton Gillingham principles and methodology. So at Chartwell, we personalize instruction. We look at the learning profile of every student and fit our curriculum and our instruction to match that student's learning strengths and stretches. Thank you so much for joining our virtual tour. We look forward to meeting you in person. We will have in-person tours on Friday mornings at 10 a.m. Space will be limited, so be sure that you reach out. We would love to have you come to our campus so that we can share with you how we change students' lives and get them to stop struggling and start learning.